Welcome to episode 40 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. This is a short episode about TCache and how you can speed up some of your workflows. Open Comfy UI, go to the Manager, then to Custom Nodes Manager. Search for TCache and you'll see a custom node called Comfy UI TCache. Click on Install, then select it, and the node will start installing. When the Restart Action Required message appears, click on the Restart button, then Confirm. Wait for the installation to complete, which may take a while. At the end, click confirm again, and the node should be installed. If you go back to the manager and custom nodes manager, you should be able to see it in the list of installed nodes. Now let's see how we can use this node. I will open a Flux dev workflow from episode 10, but you can use any Flux workflow you have. It's a text to image workflow. So let me add a, a prompt like a cute cartoon cat in a bamboo forest to test if the workflow works correctly. And I got this cute cat, so it works. Now I will select a fixed seed so we can compare the image before and after using TCache. For seed 5000, I got this cat. I'll copy the image, click once on the canvas and paste it here with Control plus V so we can compare it with the TCache version. Double click on the canvas, search for T, and select the TCache node. Now, TCache will always come after the loader node, whether it's UNet loader, load diffusion model, or LoRa loader. We just need to redo the connection so it goes through this node. That's all pretty simple. At the moment of recording, it only works for these models, so I've only tested it with Flux and the WAN model. Let me run the workflow. And the result is this cat. If I copy it and paste it next to each other, you can see that they are different. Now, when you use TCache, it's faster, but the quality of the image might be lower. Not for all types of images, but I notice lower quality for some. However, many times you can get away with it. If we compare the speed, you can see it took 26 seconds without TCache and only 14 seconds with TCache. So with big time consuming workflows, you can save a lot of time. And sometimes the quality downgrade is not noticeable. Let's open a workflow that I know takes a lot of time. I will open the WAN combined with LoRa workflow from episode 39. In this case, we have two load nodes, one for the diffusion model and one for LoRa. So in this case, we search for the TCache node and add it after the LoRa loader node, which is then connected to the model input from KSampler. And of course, don't forget to change the model type. Look at the model version you selected. In my case, I2V stands for image to video, followed by 480p and 14b, so I select that version. If we go to the custom node GitHub page and scroll down, you can see which models are supported, what settings are recommended, and how much speed up you can expect. You can try those settings, and I'll explain them in a minute. If I run this workflow, it usually takes over 400 seconds to complete and produce the video. But now with TCache, I got it in 227 seconds and the quality still looks good enough in this case. So you will save a lot of time. What does TCache do? TCache is like a smart memory for comfy UI. It remembers the results of nodes you've already run. And if nothing important has changed, it reuses them instead of redoing all the work. Imagine you're making tea. You boil water first, then put a tea bag in the hot water and pour it into a cup. Now let's say, Tomorrow you want the exact same tea again. Instead of boiling the water and making it all over again, tea kish checks, wait, didn't I already make this exact tea yesterday? Yup, I saved it, here you go. So it skips all the steps and just gives you the final tea again. Easy and fast. Relative L1 threshold controls how sensitive tea cache is to small changes in the inputs. Say you followed a recipe, but the next day you add just one extra grain of sugar. If you're super picky, low relative L1 threshold, you say, nope, it's different now. Make it again from scratch. If you're easygoing, higher relative L1 threshold, you say, one grain, who cares? It's the same. Reuse the old one. So this sets how much change is too much before TCache decides it has to rerun the node. For max skip steps, this sets how many steps in a row TCache is allowed to skip. If you want to reuse the tea from yesterday, can you also skip getting the tea bag, boiling the water, turning on the stove? If max skip steps is set to five, it can skip up to five steps back as long as nothing important has changed. If it's too low, tea cache might not go far enough and you'll still have to wait longer than needed. 
for relative L1 threshold, you think about how small a change is still close enough. You can see the recommended values for different models in the list. For max skip steps, you think about how many steps in a row can be skipped. By default, the recommended setting seems to be three for all models. That's all for today. If you found something useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. You can also support the channel by joining the membership, just like the legends, VIPs, and other awesome members have. A big thank you to all of you. Have a great day, and I'll catch you on Discord.